Hi everyone, today I want to talk about what happened so far in the last weeks, so let's check it out. You may notice developer of Box64 began working on AVX support and you can already enable it for experimental purposes in the latest box builds. So in future games like Death Stranding or Ghost of Tsushima may work, but it's still too early to tell because there are still some turnip issues to run it and upcodes uh, needs to be added. So I'm very excited how this will work in the very late future. If you didn't know, then this is great news for you. Danlio, developer of Turnip, patched the Flickr issue for Adreno 700 users. In the past, you need to enable Sync Draw, which fixed the Flickr with a performance loss. However, now it's not needed anymore, and now you can enjoy games like Stray, Metro Last Light, Assassin's Creed Rogue, and more without graphical issues. On Chinese video platform, Gamesur uploaded an interesting video which shows a new PC emulator called Game Fusion, made by the same developers of EKNS. It's not sure if they use Box64 effects, but they seem to use native drivers instead of Turnip, and the result looks very promising. However, no further details are available yet, so let's wait when it will be announced. You might wonder why Mobox hasn't been updated for, for months or weeks and there are no news from developer 2 and it's not sure if Mobox will ever receive updates again. However, I recommend you to use DarkOS which comes with the latest box builds and drivers. It also offers a graphical user interface for dynamic settings, changing container, changing DXVK and turnip drivers and it also offers Mango Hut it looks like MSI Afterburner, so it is really more user friendly, so check it out if you want Box64 with the latest updates. Speaking of DarkOS, there will be an upcoming update or a better fix for games which ask for a game controller or mouse which doesn't work like in Resident Evil 7. Now you will see two Wine Device X in Task Manager again while maintaining GStreamer support. It will let you now play Resident Evil 7 with fixed mouse support. This fix will also make other games play playable like Mortal Kombat 10 or Beyond Two Souls and more. Well, Bruno is still testing WoW64 support, however, he fixed a missing Windows Media Player codec, which is used for example in Resident Evil 5 and 6. So in the upcoming update, you will no longer have the black screen issue or don't need to replace movie files anymore to get these games running. I'm very excited when WinLater 7 will be released, so be patient, it's always worth the wait when a new WinLater version is released. Meanwhile, you can use modded WinLater from Afi or Frost to test experimental WoW 64 edition, but there are some issues like controls not working in any game or performance is very low. I mentioned Synput Bridge a few times in my videos before, but somehow not many users know it and still ask me for gamepod, gamepad support. Well, here again, this is a tool to get gamepad or Synput support for emus like Morbox or Dark OS. It will override input files for it and let use your gamepad in combination with the Simport Bridge app. It will emulate your gamepad as Xbox controller, so games like Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm series will work only with that. Since it's uh, still experimental, not all games will work with gamepad, so it still needs some further development. So that was my little summary for the last month. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
Since it is my first news video, please let me know in the comments some suggestions or what you like the most. Thank you.